Warriors, Satemanga, the Reverend of the Revolution, coming to you from Viking CrossFit, just finishing up the workout of the day today. I'm not going to talk about the wall today. This message is real simple. If you don't want what you want, if you don't want it bad enough to commit to it, don't get pissed off at anyone else but yourself. Don't get pissed off at your parents. Don't get pissed off at your spouse. Don't get pissed off at Obama. Don't get pissed off at the economy. Don't get pissed off at your culture. Don't get pissed off at anybody but yourself. And why do I say that? In the, the wad, I'm dying. It's hard today. I guess it's hard every day, but things that require me to jump and to do like uh, heavy squats, heavy clings, my back, worn and torn from football, it's a lot stronger than my quality of life is better, but it's hard on me, hard on me mentally, hard on me physically, and yet I continue to push through it. I continue to go do the hard things. Why is that? It's because I want it. And because I want it so bad, I've committed to it. You don't get what you want. You only get what you're committed to. I'm committed to being more patient with my kids. I'm committed to having an incredible relationship, communication and service and love and everything that's sweet in a marriage and strong. I'm committed to having a healthy lifestyle. I'm committed to God and my, my commitments and covenants with him. I'm committed to my relationships. What are you committed to? I see so many people say, Tim, I want to change my life. I want to change my life. Help me out. Can you help me out? Can you help me out? Then I tell them what to do. And then they're like, cool, I'm not ready, but I'll be ready sometimes because this and this and this and this and this. Dude, things never change until you change. And until you're willing to say, forget all the BS. I know what I want. I'm willing to commit to what I want. I'm willing to give up everything to go get what I want. I'm willing to give up the lies. I'm willing to give up the bull crap. I'm willing to give up my excuses. I'm willing to give up my fear and my stories. And my, my, my life is so hard. And da, da, da. If only I had this. If only I had that. If only I had this. Stop complaining. Stop it. For just a moment in CrossFit today, I'm like, God, this is so freaking hard. And then I remembered, oh, yeah. I'm already committed to come to CrossFit. And instead of just showing up to CrossFit, I'm showing up to get my workout in, to get my heart pumping. I'm pushing. I'm pushing that threshold. I'm pushing the limits. I'm pushing. And the same thing goes in my business. The same thing goes with my marriage. The same thing goes with my relationships. And all the people who have been a help and a blessing to me, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go help other people. Three years ago, I was broke. My wife and I had no money. We had just come off of government assistance. Sold everything. Sold my Super Bowl ring, my wife's ring. We were so broke. And I was so embarrassed. I was so ashamed. I was depressed. And along comes one of my mentors, one of my all-time favorite friends, one of my closest coaches and mentors. And he says, Satema, just give me, just give me one summer knocking doors for Vivin." the orange empire. And I had to humble myself. I had to ask myself a question. Do I want to stay where I'm at? Broke, miserable, stories, excuses. So I ate humble pie. And I went out on a journey to realize what it takes to get back in the trenches because I wanted to provide a better life for my family. And over the past three years, we have paid the price we have paid the piper. Our lives are so different today. And this is why the revolution is on. This is why I'm telling you to rise up as a warrior. Quit sleepwalking. Quit being a pansy. Quit being a weak person who has so much God-given talent, you are not willing to do anything about it because, oh, my circumstances aren't good and all oh, my things haven't changed. Oh, it's not my fault. Maybe they ain't caught the environment. Come on, stop it. My message is simple today. If you want it bad enough and you know why you want it bad enough and you've got purpose and the holy cause, I'm willing to do anything and everything, obviously moral and ethical and legal, that's a given. I'm willing to do anything and everything to go get my dreams, to build my empire, to help my brothers and sisters, you, my brothers, my sisters, to live your purpose, to fill your bank accounts. You can't make a difference with empty bank accounts. You can't do that. And I went through this period where I was like, oh man, maybe, maybe God wants me to be poor. Maybe God just wants me to, to, to be humble. Mm -mm. 
God wants you to succeed. He does. And if, if I ever hear people, well, he doesn't want me to make a lot of money. It's not important. Bull crap. Absolutely garbage. Money's absolutely, absolutely very important. More money you have in your account, that just means you've created more value for more people. You can turn around and use that money to help more people. You can take exotic, awesome vacations. You can take your spouse out on great dates. You can put your kids through the schools you want them to go to. You can give back to the charities and to the hospitals and to the universities. You can help people out. Sometimes the only way to help family out is when they're like, I need help. You're like, here's a check. This is not a loan. This is my way of saying I love you. That's the money part. Your body, don't tell me you can be, you can have it all when you are out of shape. You don't feel good about yourself when you're out of shape. You absolutely don't feel good about yourself. But you sit there on the couch making excuse after excuse after excuse. Your relationships are all you. The results in your life are all you. Everything in your life is all you. And if they suck, it's all you. So stop sucking. Be more. Do more. Have more. Create more. And change your life. It's been three years later. We've been blessed. We've worked hard. And my foot will stay on the gas pedal. My only question to you is, do you want it bad enough? Do you want it bad enough to go pay the piper? To let go of the stories? If you do, I promise you, you can have whatever it is you want in life. More peace, more happiness, more love, more intimacy more revelation, more muscles, more money. I love you. Rise up. Rise up to your calling. Rise up to your potential. Have an incredible day today. Last of all, just a quick shout out in less than an hour. Blog Talk Radio. Straight Talk, Real Talk, Radical Results Revolution Radio is coming to you at 12 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Check that out here. Details on my Facebook page as well as Blog Talk called Rise Up Warrior. Straight talk, real talk. It's all about results. There's no theory. There's no principles, no warm fuzz. This is how to get radical results in your life. Have a great day, Warriors. I love you. What will you do today to make a difference in your life to get the results that you want, that you're committed to? I'm out.